Okay, this video I'm about to go up against is uh, why bullying is a good thing, and it, and as you can see, it's not very popular, and it's got a ton of dislikes. I mean, more likes than dislikes, but still, that's a pretty big dislike to like ratio. And this video kind of follows the age. This video follows the age old philosophy: bullying is a good thing, you know. But and I want to debunk that. So. Anyways, without further ado, here we go. Okay, flop. These girls are apparently messing with her. She takes like a shovel and smashes the other one. And she's crying on the ground as a little bitch, so yeah, I guess that worked. So about two days ago, the hashtag I stand up to bullies by started trending. Now I think that bullying is can be a sensitive subject for some people, but it shouldn't be that way. Bullying is a universal thing. It doesn't matter where you are, bullying happens. Okay, that's true. That's definitely true. Basically, as long as there's people, there's gonna be bullies. As long as people are gonna be assholes to be bullies, so yeah. And bullying is good for you. Now I don't mean- What? Okay, let, let me let him finish. It's it's good for your health or anything. I mean, bullying can help you be better in life. Now, you've probably heard people who have said this before, that an adult may be saying this to you. Back when I was in high school, everyone got bullied. It was just a part of life. And that that is true. And it still resonates today. Everyone gets bullied in some way or another. It doesn't matter if you're popular or unpopular, if you're the prom queen or the kid with a shit ton of acne. Everyone gets bullied. And oh, not everyone. I've met a couple people that haven't got bullied. They managed to, you know, bypass that somehow. But yeah, a lot of people do get bullied. So there's always going to be bullies out there. No matter how, if you have 99% uh, of parents teaching their kids not to bully and 99% of kids don't bully, there's going to be that 1% that never learned that or doesn't care and is going to bully. And yeah, that sucks. And it would be good if at least... Or even at most, 99% of parents taught their kids not to be assholes and to abide by the NAP. You know, follow the silver, golden, platinum, whatever rule to, you know, leave people alone. Like, the silver rule says not to be a dick. The golden rule says treat others the way you want to be treated. So, like, they treat you the way you want to be treated. And the platinum rule says treat others the way they want to be treated. So, you get treated the way you want to be treated by them. Or, you know, within reason or whatever. You know, don't be a dick. Parents should teach that to their kids. And even if 1% manages to still to be dicks, it, it, it was at least good that most parents taught their kids not to be dicks and most of the kids weren't dicks. That'd be great. And it's up your job, it's your obligation to stand up to those people. Now, bullying is good because it helps you overcome adversity, but I'm not condoning bullying. I'm not. Okay, I've heard this stupid argument time and time again. Bullying helps out or builds character, helps you overcome adversity. That is bullshit. Bullying traumatizes people. It's it's aggression, it's harassment, it's dehumanization, it's abuse. It doesn't help people. Like these morons, these, you know, these bystander effect talking heads want you to believe that, oh, bullying is good, it builds character, it made me tougher. How does someone abuse you, make you tougher? They're abusing you, they're damaging you. That's by definition not being tougher. So, alright, let's let's go on. Not going to go out and say, Hey, there's a four-year-old. I don't like the way she looks. Go punch her in the face. And then just clock this four-year-old in a grocery store or something. No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, but you're still saying something pretty shitty. I'm saying that bullying helps build character and it helps... <sighs> yeah. ...helps strengthen you as a person. Okay, if you're being abused, and I have been bullied before, and sometimes I still feel like shit from it, very few of my bullies apologized. I can count all the bullies that apologized to me on one hand. Not two hands, one hand. It's basically only three. So anyways, bullying makes you feel shit. People have, you know, touched me, grabbed me by the bare arm, by the bare hand, took my stuff, you know, pushed me, made me feel like shit, you know, insulted me, got in my space. It sucks. Bullying sucks. Anyone that thinks it builds character and that society shouldn't stand up against this aggression is a is pretty moronic to be quite honest 
Yeah, you may not condone bullying, but you think it's a benefit to people when it's not, okay? It's not a benefit to be abused. It's not a benefit to be, you know, grab, push up, beat up, you know, call names, having your personal space invaded. That's not good, okay? We need a peaceful society that abides by the NAP, not one that just goes, or oh, whatever. Someone got picked on, whatever. He either stands up for himself or he doesn't, or that's good that he's getting that. Because it builds character, no. Here's a scenario. You're a 22-year-old like me, who has never been bullied in your life, and one day... You just said... You just said everybody gets bullied, yet you say you've never been bullied in your life. Let's rely on a bit, shall we? Yeah, started trending. First of all, thing, it doesn't matter where you are, bullying happens. And bullying is good for you. Now, I don't mean it's... I mean, bullying be better and said this before that an adult may be saying this to you back when I was in high school everyone got bullied it was just a part of life and that that is true and then we go back to like um to 156 here's a scenario you're a 22 year old like me who has never been bullied in your life and one day uh -huh. you're sitting with your friend watching Vsauce and he decides to bully you. Here's how something like that would go down. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Dude, you look like a little bitch. What do you mean? I mean, you look like a little bitch. You look like a pussy baby back bitch. Okay, this scenario makes no sense at all already, and is pretty freaking retarded. So, your friend, which is your friend, would out of nowhere just start calling you a pussy-ass bitch? What kind of bullying is that? I mean, yeah, it's bad, but how is that scenario at all realistic? Your friend that's been good to you all these years suddenly decides to start calling you a pussy-ass bitch. Wait, what is the sense in that? Anyways, let's keep going. You don't mean that. I do. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, fucking cry. No. Fucking faggot. Fuck out of here, you piece of shit. Wait, was that his house or the bully's house? Here's how something like that would go down. Gravity is Watching Vsauce. Here's a scenario. You're a 22-year-old like me, who has never been bullied in your life, and one day... You're sitting with your friend, watching Vsauce, and he decides- Okay. Okay, he's walking. Alright. At nature study areas. There has been set aside for a second. Appreciation of any super- Survive my own. Please stay on the trails. Don't pick flowers. Don't leave. Okay, well, whatever. I mean, you look like a little bitch. Okay, a dog. You look like a pussy baby back bitch. You. Yeah, fucking cry. No. Fucking faggot. Fuck out of here, you piece of shit. Supposed to be serious or funny? Is he gonna hang himself? Wait. Okay. Why? Now, do you see how ridiculous that is? Uh, well, for the for the scenario you made, yeah. I mean, it doesn't make sense in any sort of way. So your friend, who I guess isn't your friend anymore, for turning into a dick randomly for some reason starts calling you a pussy back bitch and you run out of the house and you cry and you try to hang yourself with a really poorly made noose which breaks the branch and that's supposed to be a serious point i mean no i don't expect you to really hang yourself you're supposed to be acting but i was thinking you would portray that more realistically rather than comedically you know and purposefully or not i mean it's like okay i'm trying to make a serious point that bullying is good yet i showed this really stupid, non-realistic situation. Look, I can't speak for all bullying victims, but a more realistic situation, which would, you know, which happened to me was, 
I got bullied in the classroom. I got bullied at gym class. I got uh, bullied in the cafeteria waiting for class to start. It wasn't just my, it, it wasn't my friend randomly going, you look like a pussy ass bitch to me for the bullying. It wasn't that at all. That's, that situation is unrealistic as hell. And if your friend does do that, they're, they may not be your friend anymore, or they may be doing a prank, which isn't funny. They may be acting really weird, going haywire. Either way, it's, whatever the case, it's not realistic. I mean, if people come up to you and ask you uncomfortable questions, get in your personal space, like they, people do in my class, I mean, the class, or grab you, or whatever, I'm sensitive to touch, by the way, that, that, that makes sense, that checks out. But your friend randomly insulting you, mm, that doesn't check out. I mean, if it does happen, that's stupid, but I wouldn't really, that example doesn't really make any sense with the way you portrayed it. I mean, come on. Eradicating bullying, there's always going to be someone that bullies. It's just political correct bullshit. It's not political correct bullshit to be concerned about people being aggressed upon. It's not. It's not something that you tolerate. You don't tolerate peaceful people being attacked by not so peaceful people. You don't. It's an injustice. A society that tolerates injustice isn't really much of a society at all. And if you just let it happen, you're just letting evil happen. You know, what's the point of everyone being in a society of, oh, we just let whatever goes, go. You can't just sit back and live your life in a comfort zone and say, Oh, if nobody bullies or nobody bullies, blah, 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 the whole world would be a better place and everyone would get along and we'd never have any problems. False. That's, that's a, a pipe dream. That's never going to happen. So basically what my message is here. That's not what people who are against bullying are advocating. We know the world won't be perfect and we do know you can't live in a comfort zone. But at the same time, we actually give a damn and want to fix the world. They get less violent. You know, since you can't eradicate evil, you aim for harm. You aim for reducing it. Since you can't eradicate evil, you aim for reducing it. And that's what people are trying to do when they want to tackle bullying or any other social issue, injustice, violation, the NAP, what have you. Okay? It's not about, oh, we're just a bunch of pansies that just want it to be all ideal. I mean, yeah, it would be great. If nobody bullied, and if when it did happen, it was fixed, or even if just nobody bullied, period. But we actually aim to try and solve it, rather than just be pansies about it. I mean, teaching your kid how to fight, or stand up for themselves, you know, wherever the place, or use their communication skills to dissuade the boy or discourage him, or, you know, even aggress self-defense or aggress upon him back, that makes sense. I'll say, I'll say that. But just kind of letting it happen... And not feeling any concern or care for people that have no business being picked on, who are peaceful people just mind their own business when some asshole just decides to go mess with them. That's that's just shit. Is bullying is a good thing. When you get bullied, it helps you overcome adversity. I'm not saying that the act of being a bully or bullying is a good thing. That's not true. I'm not saying that you should go out and bully people. But I'm saying that bullying isn't the worst thing that happens to you. It helps make you who you are. It helps you to be better. It helps you to want to be more. It helps you to want to be better than that person who bullied you. Was uh, oh my, okay, this is some of the stupidest shit I ever heard. That's assuming you stand up to your bully and, and get XP points in a sense. Just mere, mere exposure to bullying isn't good. And if the act is unjust, if it's immoral, then it should be stopped, period. I mean, there are benefits to various immoral acts. But that doesn't mean you just let them fly or say they're good or they can help the victim out by being a challenge. No. I mean, stealing is beneficial to the thief and it can encourage the victim to try and take measures to not get stolen from. But was it right of someone to deprive someone of their stuff to say, I'm going to take this and to take it or even rob it from them or even kill it from them? No. It wasn't. And yeah, bad acts can encourage you to become tougher, you know, so they stop happening. But it still isn't acceptable for them to happen. The act itself isn't good, and any good thing that comes of it is inadvertent. The action happened, period. It doesn't matter if you inadvertently get tougher. People shouldn't aggress upon peaceful people, period. If somebody bullies you, that is an opportunity. See that as an opportunity to make yourself better. And to prove a point to both yourself your peers 
and that person that's bullying you. What the fuck kind of logic is that? You know, personally, as a person that's peaceful, or at least tries to be peaceful, or at least tries to be good, I want to be left alone. I want to leave others alone, and I want others to leave me alone, which is fair. So when someone tries to aggress upon me, I don't see it as a challenge. I see that as a not only an aggression, as a freaking nuisance. I see it as a freaking nuisance. You're just trying to mind your business and live your life, but someone else, you know, wants to derail that for some reason. You know, someone else wants to make your life hell, or at least give you a hard time. And that would get that gets pretty annoying pretty fast. In fact, it gets annoying and destructive and unnerving and irritating the moment it happens. So why should it be looked at as a challenge if it's not if one, it's immoral and two, it's irritating. Three, it just enables bad behavior. If nobody stands up to a bad person, guess what? They keep doing whatever the hell they're doing. And what's there to prove? I'm not here to put on a show and impress my peers or myself or the bully that I stood up to them. I just want to be left alone, okay? Just be left alone. What a thought. I mean, yeah, I I can feel proud of standing up to bullies, or feel, you know, the endorphins run that, oh, I did something that made something good happen, or stopped something bad from happening, or stopped something bad from getting worse, or fixed something bad, or whatever. But what I really wanted was for that shit not to happen. And this guy here, Flop, is saying that it's good that you know, you had an opportunity or challenge to deal with some shit. That is false. I do not want shit, period. I know shit will happen, and I know you gotta fix it, but in the end, ultimately, shit shouldn't happen. And yeah, I have stood up for, to bully sometimes, not very effectively. I've grabbed him back by the bare arm, by the bare hand. I've, I've sometimes, I've gone to their face, or, you know, I even got revenge on some, but look, it shouldn't happen. Let's, let's, let's continue the rest of this. And don't just cast it away and say, Oh, I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad. Obviously, if there's extreme bullying and it's taken way too far, that's a different story. But small things you can control. Control your life and do something about things that you don't like and don't agree with. So yeah. Okay, I somewhat agree with that part but bullying usually isn't small and even if it's small it's immoral it should stop yeah i hope you guys like the video yeah i didn't like the video <laughs> um it wasn't my normal style of videos where it's a comedy thing i mean there was a little bit of comedy but i just i just felt like this point needed to be made because it doesn't seem like many people want to go out and say uh something that goes against the politically correct crowd bye it's not about being politically correct, okay? I hate when people use that term as an excuse for spewing bullshit. It's like, I don't want to hear bullshit from politically correct or impolitically correct people. I mean, or politically incorrect people. I don't want to hear bullshit from either side. Politically correct people or politically incorrect people. I don't want to hear bullshit, period. You know, whether you're blunt or whether you sugarcoat something, don't speak bullshit. It, it's, it's, it's bullshit. It doesn't work. It's false. Don't do it, don't say it. And so, yeah, that video was something shitty. And I had my thing to say about it personally on it. Okay, yeah. Oh, hold on, this shit won't highlight. Okay, there we go. Only isn't good no matter how you say it, because you're attacking these people. You shouldn't be looked at as a challenge. You should be looked at as a moral nuisance that will not be tolerated. You can gain XP. Yeah, I know bullying over six, but that doesn't mean you tolerate and settle for a status quo. No, you try and fix this shit as best possible. If someone's immoral, you try and fix it, not just let's like this is supposed to be a challenge. I mean, we're sentient beings obligated to lie by the NAP, not aggression person, which means not, not to be taken attack others just for sake of it. If you don't fight for what's right, society's not pointless. All that is needed for you for the triumph is for good men to do nothing. Edmund Burke, and by the way, I, I just realized now I did some studying between the time I wrote this and now and found out that quote is falsely attributed to him. Someone else said it. I'll put who else said it in the description. Who really said it? And I have stood up to some people, stood up for some people. Like, there's this guy who in health class, people were making fun of him. And I said to people, hey, come on now, leave him alone. You know, he's just saying, sharing his point of view. And he's like, yeah, you know, he actually said the words, yeah. And then some day later, he actually kind of teased me. But I think it was in a joking way, not in a bullying way. You know, he actually took notice. Him teasing me was a reflection of he took notice of me standing up for him. And yeah, I wish people did stand up for me 
more often, and I wish I stood up for myself more often. My parents in the school would do more, but of course, this is public schooling. Public schools don't really care about bullying. They don't have to. They still get kids to come in, and they still get that money. But that's another subject. Anyways, that's it for now, and this asshole says, The king of chavs. You eat poo. Obvious troll account, you know. Trolls throughout the, the, the comments. Yeah, king of chavs, not don't listen to news right bullying this guy as a boy, and myself, I can confirm. Okay, well, what? He's stupid. This video just doesn't have much, just doesn't have a point to stand on, period. Bullying is wrong. Aggression is wrong. Stand up to evil, fight it, you know. Don't tolerate shit. Cause it's doing damage. That damage ain't right.